don't worry guys, supply drops will be cosmetic changes only. Screw you, Vandaha. We want to make money on everybody. I like castles. I'm a sucker for medieval castles. <laughs> That's where we're going in Dries and Drag. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys, it's Ibrahim here. And today I'm talking about the whole Modern Warfare reimagined thing and oh god, they've ruined that game too. Uh, you, you, you. I'm just fed up with it. I'm actually going to delete it. It's It's gone too far now. Raven's done such a good job remastering the game, and now it's not a remaster, so uh, all of that's gone down the toilet because, well, if you think about a remaster, I'm pretty sure you guys already know the situation. They've added new guns. They've added, I believe... Actually, I have no idea what they're called. I think they've got a the Magnum, but who cares about that? The Deagle's still going to be elite. Well, if it isn't, that's absolutely ridiculous. But they've added an assault rifle. I saw an iMarksman's video. I'll link that in the description so you can see the two weapons I'm talking about. Anyway, it's <laughs> one of them's an AR, which shoots like a mana war. Well, it shoots like a HVK, so it has a very high rate of fire. It's got recoil like an ICR, so it basically has no recoil. And on top of that, it's got the <laughs> the bullets are basically as strong as a Man of War. So it is actually just an elite weapon. I don't know if it would outclass the M16, because that is pretty much the most OP gun in COD history. And I know they added it to BO3 and nerfed it a bit. I think they raised the recoil and the fire rate, but they uh, put the damage down because obviously it would outgun everything if it was a still a two-shot, like it is in MWR. But anyway... Uh, and the shotgun is, I'm pretty sure it's a full auto, but it's basically as strong as a brekkie or better, which is absolutely ridiculous in that game. Uh, it's got mad range as well. Some of the SMGs in that game don't even have that range, so I don't know what they're doing there either. Uh, to be honest, Raven has done a great job remastering the game, but maybe that's because it was already there, and maybe they're not that good at developing a separate game or coming up with their own ideas, who knows? Maybe this is just a one-off and it was, you know, they're going to just put it in the game and nerf it later. Hopefully they do, because adding new weapons in the, into the game, even if it's melee weapons, changes the whole dynamic of the game. If they didn't add melee weapons into Black Ops 3, for example, you wouldn't have people camping next to the bomb with uh, a wrench or running around with a sword or camping in a corner or with with a certain melee weapon you know it, it encourages that kind of behavior of people camping and whatnot and another dlc weapon for example the marshals in bo3 uh, tomorrow i'm gonna upload a video where it's just me uh i'm doing sick in the game and i just keep getting shut down by the pizza cut i forgot what it's called i think it's like the yeah i don't know what it's called it just shoots pizzas or di it's a disc shoot or whatever and it bounced around like 20 some at times and kills everything in its path because it's absolutely destructive and you shoot inside a building you're definitely gonna get killed like literally that's all you need to do like a uh, card doesn't require skill anymore noob friendly hates all the people who actually play the game with skill and then you've got the marshals where it literally just promotes people camping in corners and <sighs> ruining everybody else's games but anyway let's get off that i'm just i'm just fed up with it like MWR has so many issues in there. For example, the M16, which is pretty much, as I've said, uh, uh, the most OP gun in card history. Like, what do you think uh, is more OP than that? Like, I saw I'm Moxman and Wildcat talking about it, and they were saying the same thing, so I'm happy someone agrees me, with me at least, and those guys have been playing COD for God knows how long too. I was hoping they would improve the game, and, you know, they sorted out the collat glitch, which is great, uh, but they should have nerfed the M16, took off three times frags, or maybe just to, well, obviously, maybe it'd be a bit messed up to remove a whole perk from the game but maybe just made a five second or ten second timer so that people can't just lob grenades right off the bat like in a bloody shipment game oh god that's a bit aids and martyrdom's got uh oh i don't even want to get into talk about martyrdom but that's slightly acceptable because you can kind of expect it like three times nades is ridiculous you can't even escape from it and in a game mode like S&D, frag grenades are just elite in general. There are so many things that can be fixed with that broken game. I, d I do not understand where they were go uh, going with this. Like, obviously Activision are money whores, you know. That's just what they are. <clears throat> I'm just going to delete Modern Warfare Remastered or Reimagined, Remodeled. I don't even know what to call it anymore. But yeah, I just don't enjoy the game that much because 
uh, the new COD community has kind of ruined it for me in the first place. It was bearable because, well, you guys know how much I rage at the game in the first place. And now it's going to come down to <laughs> DLC weapons in the game. It's just going to ruin it even more. My issue was I was kind of playing it how I used to play it, assuming that people... <clears throat> people actually move around the map and don't just you know sit in dark corners like you can for that game forgot about that that uh, you can actually take cover in places and not be seen but but that was that was bearable that was like within the game i didn't mind that now that they've added this it's raised the corruption of the game to the next level first the new cod community is it's changed how the game is played changed how fun it is and now they've literally changed the game so it's not cod 4 anymore is it I don't know, what do you guys think? Am I being a bit too over the top? Am I complaining too much? It's just, they've lied to us again. It's absolutely ridiculous. The way they set it up is so scummy. They give you like a, a first free supply drop in COD 4. It's like, it's like buying drugs on the street. And then they... They make it like some sort of freemium game on the fo on a mobile phone, like Clash of Clans or something, where it's basically pay to win. You You can get stuff to get the stuff, but... Unless you actually buy them, it's impossible. I bought the season pass. You know how much I paid for Infinite Warfare and COD 4? And I'm not even getting anything. My friend got a, the broken bottle melee weapon in COD 4 and I didn't even get anything. I've spent so much time on that compared to everybody else. And I haven't even got anything back from it. This is actually ridiculous. I just love how they kind of ease us into it. They give us supply drops and Von der Haar's just like, Don't worry guys, I got you. It's only cosmetics. So they start off with camos. And calling cards and those crappy reticles and whatnot. And BO, well, I'm talking about BO3 at the moment. Because Vondi didn't want it to screw us over. You know how he cared for the community, so I'm not blaming it on him. And then they're just like, okay, we're releasing we're releasing melee weapons. It's just a knife skin, it won't change anything. It did change how the game how the game has been been played, and uh, it will forever change it. It's changed it in COD 4 as well because you can't pull out a, COD, a combat knife and now we have people running around with beer bottles and shovels and god knows what they'll give out next. And then they give you the weapons. They're just like, oh, it's it's fine. Everybody can get COD points. We'll slap in a few double crypto key weekends for you because we know you're not going to get anything because we've made this chances so low on you getting stuff that you're going to want to buy them and i love how in cod 4 they 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 made a new they they made a new level for it so instead of going from melee weapons to uh supply drop guns they went melee weapons and they made gun variants which is, was a cool idea it was really cool i saw Marge with his uh i think it was the m40 gun variant which was pretty cool it didn't change anything whatsoever but I, I, I just knew. Two, three months into the game, they're already bringing out this stuff. This is stuff that they... Like, if this was the final stage, they would save it for later. And not just bring it out all at once. They kind of want to spread out all the content, wouldn't they? But, obviously, this was just easing us into it so we wouldn't feel it as much. It's just, it's just dishonest and stuff. Like, they wonder why their sales are going down. When I see these kind of videos and I watch them, you've got everybody in the comments saying, Oh yeah, I've gone over to Overwatch, I've gone on over to Rainbow Six Siege or something like that. I can't be asked with these, with Activision anymore or something like that. It's just... If they treated the the cons the consumer properly, sorry, you know everything would be fine. It's just you know, you know it's a give give kind of situation. You're nice to somebody and they're nice back, or you know you do someone a favor and they they actually like you and want to support you. Isn't that the way it works? <laughs> I swear they've got their system wrong. They're trying to increase the money they get by forcing people to buy supply drops, which is lowering the game sales. For example. I remember when BO1 came out, like, that game was so hyped because MW2 was so good. But, like, it was in the papers. I remember, like, over, I think it was over 6 million people were waiting outside uh, game uh, game places. At that uh, point in time, like, gaming wasn't that big as well as it is now. And, like, that many people waiting outside, like, that's not the total sales. But now Infinite Warfare is barely selling more than that. that that's right. Infinite Warfare has only sold around 10 million or something. Uh, I can't remember. But that's basically the lowest it's been since COD got popular. Like COD 4 sold more than that. And that game is now 9, 10 years old. Like what, uh, what, what, what has to happen for them to stop all of this BS. And just focus on a good game. Apparently Infinite Warfare when... 
they made Infinite Warfare, they took like two years for the campaign and like six months for the multiplayer, which is absolutely ridiculous. Like, how many times do you play the, the campaign, even though it was pink? Like, I won't lie, it was good. Two years. Cards used to be made in like a year. MW2, that campaign was absolutely amazing. World at War, amazing. COD 4, amazing. That was Those were with one year life cycles to the games. Why are they taking this long to make a bloody, I don't know, like hour or two long campaign? Are you kidding me? I don't know, I don't know. Like, this is just getting a bit out of hand. That's enough of my rant. Give me, well, your opinions in the comments below. I'm really interested because I'm just aggravated by this situation. I don't want to play this any this game anymore. I'm going back to BL3. Infinite Warfare is a pretty fun game, I'll be honest, but then you've got the variants in there. Oh yeah, they they lied to us in Infinite Warfare. You're going to be able to get everything with salvage points. Oh wait, there's supply drop only guns that you can get. For example, that Volt Corruption, which gives you extra, it's extra experience points, isn't it? Yeah. For every kill, it was like, why lie? Just say it outright. People are going to be less angry if you say it outright. Oh god, I'm I'm tired of this, bro. I'm tired of these people lying. Anyways, make sure you tell me what what's up. Like if you agree, like if you disagree, and just tell me in the comments. I don't want to dislike someone's video. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> subscribe for more, and I'm seeing you tomorrow. Oh yeah, the video tomorrow is gonna be sick. Make sure you watch it.